Episode 13, Raid on Las Vegas, 24th of September, 1986 air date. General Warhawk plans to blow up Boulder Dam as a diversion so that he can rob the casino money in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's up to Rambo, Cat, and Turbo to stop General Warhawk, Nomad, Mad Dog, and Black Dragon, as well as a female panther trainer operative named Pandora, uh, Pandora sorry, from robbing the casinos. So I guess it's a good thing that Rambo has that native Indian descent. <laughs> Episode 14, The Lost Cry of Accra, or Accra. Air date, September 25th, 1986. General Warhawk locates the lost city of Accra in India and leads his soldiers into rounding up the uh, Bindus, I guess that's a tribe, in a plot to force them to dig up its treasures. Slave labor at its finest. Only Rambo can save the day. So now we're going to go to episode 15, Guns Over the Suez, or Suez. Um, 26th of September, 1986, is the air date. General Warhawk sets his sights on the Suez Canal and threatens to blow up all shipping of the Suez Canal unless he is paid one million dollars. Fuck, that's a lot of money in those days, I think. <coughs> but nowadays it would cost one million dollars just to buy the explosives. So, you know, he's obviously not planning too far ahead. So, Rambo must locate the special gun that will help General Warhawk blow up all the shipping on the Suez Canal and defeat General Warhawk and his ally, ally sorry, the Sheik has sat in the progress. So now we're going to get down to episode 16, Exercise in Terror, which aired October 6th, 1986, a little bit of a jump here. Um, General Warhawk does three terrorist attacks in order to gain money to start an international ter terrorist training camp. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, that's amazing. International terrorist training camp. <coughs> what will they think of next? I'm sure they're going to think of a lot crazier things than this. So first, he has Gripper and Mad Dog hold a teacher and her students for ransom in the Statue of Liberty. Go figure. Then, General Warhawk, Warhawk has Sergeant Havoc and Nomad threaten to blow up the Eiffel Tower. Viva la France! And finally... General Warhawk plans to set up his headquarters in uh, Bagadania, which is crazy, which is just crazy. What kind of scheme? What kind of scheme is this? I don't, I don't know if that would work, I don't, especially when you're dealing with Rambo. So episode seven, uh, 17, rather, The Doomsday Machine, aired on October 7th, um, 1986, and it says here that Rambo's old friend, Mike Flynn, Mike Flynn, wasn't Mike Flynn Rocky too? Wasn't Mike Flynn uh, the kid whose mom was the nurse who gave Polly a hard time for being at the hospital? Uh, who uh, wanted Rocky to, to, to write, to sign the, the autograph for Mike Flynn? Uh, no, wait, I, I'm sure it was something Flynn. Maybe not Mike Flynn. Anyway, Rambo's old friend Mike Flynn steals the uh, XK-7 fighter jet and uses it to help General Warhawk in enslaving the Zamboli to mine for him. To mine diamonds, in fact. And uh, I can only, uh, you know, I can only uh, presume that Mike Flynn was not a very good friend. You know, I can, I can, I can, uh, Assume that there was some persuasion and some misleading and, uh, you know, manipulation going on. So, episode 18, Disaster and Delgado, um, aired October 8th, 1986. And Savage had been intercepting transports for relief supplies bound for the country of Delgado. 
which has been torn apart by natural disasters. It's up to Rambo, Cat, Turbo, and Colonel Troutman to get the supplies to Diago, uh, Delgado and drive Savage's army away. Wow. Amazing. Doesn't get any crazier than that. And, you know, it's cool because I like to think of more as Troutman as an action character. Something me and Wildman were talking about a lot last time. Well, and we'll be getting into uh, more of in Season 3 when we try to think of what Richard Crenna would have been like as an expendable. But um, I, I love how they have Troutman in the action. Um, how they have him in the action in this, uh, in this series. So Episode 19, Fire in the Sky. Air date was the 9th of October, 1986. Under the orders of General Warhawk, Sergeant Havoc, Gripper, Nomad, and female operative named um, Varinia steal a submarine called the USS Typhoon and plans to auction it to any terrorist that is interested in it. So they're going to do some uh, black market deals here. Very scandalous. You know, I, I'm not sure if this teaches um, kids the right message. You know, is this... Uh, is this ISIS training? Uh, I shouldn't even say that. I shouldn't even joke about that shit. That's horrible. Anyway, let's get back to basics here. Episode 20, Enter the Black Dragon. Um, this, um, uh, sorry, the 10th of October, 1986 was the air date. When General Warhawk, Sergeant Havoc, Gripper, and Nomad attack a foreign base and end up thwarted by Rambo, General Warhawk calls in a ninja assassin named the Black Dragon to take Rambo down. So, I don't know if this was like more of a Bruce Lee angled assassin, but uh, guessing by the, uh, the title here, I guess maybe they must have had Bruce Lee on the mind. Or maybe Stephen Chang. So, episode 21, Reign of the Boy King. Um... Air date was October 13th, 1986. The boy King Alexander of Morovia has been kidnapped by Sergeant Havoc and Gripper, allowing Alexander's uncle, Black Duke Lucan, to succeed him and allow Savage to build a base in uh, Morovia. It's up to Rambo to rescue King Alexander and overthrow Black Duke Lucan. So now we're moving on to episode 22, Rambo and the White Rhino. The 14th of October, 1986 is the air date, and we're not talking about a white rhino cocaine. We're talking about something else. Savage steals a sacred white rhinoceros named Mabuto <coughs> excuse me, from the African country of Nambula in order to set up its neighboring country of um, Bassi for stealing their white rhinoceros. Uh, General Warhawk uses the approaching war as a di I diversion to mine plutonium in the blue sacred burial grounds. Why do they have plutonium in the secret burial grounds? And uh, that just sounds like a frat thing, you know, like where they have like a pet pig or something and someone steals it to cause a war between the frats. Uh, you know, I guess it works because it's a kid's show. But um, it's pretty fucking funny nonetheless. So episode 23, Pirate Peril, the 15th of October, 1986. Are we talking about the pirates from First Blood Part 2? Are we talking about the pirates from Rambo 4? No. General Warhawk and his ally, Admiral Nomak, team up with Captain Scar and his band of pirates in a plot to raise the sunken... Um, Liberty Submarine off the coast of Hong Kong. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, I have a bad cold, as you can see, a bad sinus infection, throat infection. I'm trying to just get through this. Um, there you go, Hong Kong action at its finest in anime form. <coughs> I apologize <coughs> once again for sounding like crap and for coughing all, up, all over the place. But at least you won't get infected. You're safe because, you know, you're a million miles away behind the other screen. Um, episode 24, Mephisto's Magic. 
Air date was the 16th of October, 1986. And when Rambo and his team stopped General Warhawk's plot to steal the Liberty Bell... <laughs> I'm sorry, this just gets better every second. With, with every new synopsis, it just gets better. General Steer, uh, Stedring insists to Colonel Troutman that his army be used next time. This problem comes into conflict when General Warhawk and his ma uh, magician ally, Mephisto, successfully steal the Washington Monument. <laughs> oh my god, so we're up in the stakes. So, the tw uh, 25th episode, The Halley Microbe, October 17th, 1986. Cat's scientific brother is investigating the ion trail left by Halley's Comet. And a space probe sent to gather samples left by the comet, a comet is targeted by General Warhawk and Black Dragon, who plan to use the alien micros, uh, microbe samples uh, which turns anyone exposed to them into raving lunatics. Alien DNA, folks. Alien rabid rabid DNA. Fascinating. 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 Almost sounds like the plot for The Savage Hunt. Episode 26, Death Merchant. 20 of October 1986 was the air date... Okay, here we go. When Rambo's team captures Death Merchant, the train they are carrying him on is intercepted by Savage, who plan to use Death Merchant's services in a plot to rob the treasures of King Tut. Fuck off. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. I would have loved to be a, a writer on this show because I could just think of a million things a million places to put Rambo in. Episode 27, Return of the Count. On the 21st of October, 1986, it hit the small screen. On Halloween, the Count returns and captures a boy named Danny. Even when Rambo escapes his trap and rescues Danny, he discovers that the Count is collaborating with General Warhawk to capture the President of the United States. I think I may, may have seen this one. I know I saw the first five, but I think I may, I may have seen this one too. I think I seen all of them. I just, I just don't remember them. I was going to watch them all to do this, but uh, I just couldn't find them all. So, you know, I just figured, okay, instead of doing each and every episode, you know, and going through it, I would just read the synopsis. You, you guys get the idea anyway, so let's continue. So after... Return of the Count, episode 27. We got episode 28. Night of the Voodoo Moon. Oh, a little voodoo. Very scary. You can tell it's coming upon these uh, <coughs> Halloween episodes. Because the next couple of, of uh, episodes are kind of Halloween themed. Anyway, this one hit the air on the 22nd of October, 1986. Night of the Voodoo Moon. Rambo, Cat, and Turbo investigate Haiti when a scientist named Dr. Stark goes missing. They discover that General Warhawk has allies with a Haitian voodoo magician named Mambo Igthayen. I think that's how you say it. In a plot to enslave the islanders and mine the island. Man, this guy is just a fucking tycoon for fucking gold. He just wants to mine everything. He's like fucking Lex Luthor. Alright. 